recognizing our authority in his name and he has raised us up together and he has made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Yeshua Ephesians 2 and 6 there is so much that we can do when we take advantage of our authority and the dominion that we have in Christ too many Christians have been too quiet about too many things. They are living as if they are victims in life. No, take charge because you are in office. You are seated with Christ in the place of power, in the position of authority, and you have his dominion, Christ's dominion. It is yours by right, so use it. Make things right in your life, in your home, in your ministry, in your job in your business, in your city, in your nation, in every place, use the name of Jesus. That name is even greater than every government, institution, name or title that could ever be conferred on someone, both in this world as well as in the world to come. Jesus Christ is Lord over all and the God of all flesh. With this knowledge, You can and you should put a stop to all the uprisings, to the wars, to the epidemics, plagues, wickedness, perils and havocs. The devil concocts and he attempts to wreak havoc around the world. So by putting a stop to these things is simple. You use the authority and the power of the name of Jesus that he's given you in prayer and in declaration. The message translation gives us an excellent rendering of this in Ephesians 1, 20 to 22. It says, God has raised him, Jesus, from the dead and has seated him on a throne in a deep heaven in charge of running the universe and everything from galaxies to governments. No name and no power is exempt from his rule and not just for this time but forever. So he's in charge of it all and he has the final word on everything. Well, this is extraordinary or extraordinary. However, he's not in charge and he's not ruling if you do absolutely nothing. So the way that God runs the earth and sets things all in order is through us, the ecclesia, the called out governing body. We are his government, we're his seed. We are prolonging his days on the earth. He is ruling through us. So when you speak, it's really Jesus speaking. When you take action against the forces of darkness and wickedness in your nation, that is him, Jesus, taking action. Satan has no chance at all. If you would recognize and take advantage of your position and your ability in Christ, the glory and the power that you wield in his name, Even now, you are able to use that authority by declaring in the name of Jesus all the specific changes that you want to happen in every area of your life. Then you'll have a testimony. Blessed be God. 